Okay, we're looking at a ficus hedge. Obviously there's a dead one right in the middle, two more dead ones right there. Let's start by looking at some of the healthy ones. And the ones in the back corner show it best. These are trees that were planted properly. You can see surface roots indicating that the trees were planted approximately to the right depth. Um, it's a really good sign. As we work our way up the row, we start finding some like this one right here where you can't see those surface roots. We can dig away the mulch and we should see those surface roots right below ground level. We don't see them on this tree, but what we do see see if we can get that in focus. What we do see is nice dry soil. This is fluffy soil, uh, which is not that big of a deal. Um, so on this tree, even though it's still healthy, it would make sense to remove the excess soil at the base of the tree. Um, on the two trees that are dead, these two right here are both dead, what I noticed when I moved the mulch away, the soil here was extremely wet. Um, really really wet soil not dry like the other one we just showed uh, I think the water is collecting here and we can do a little test just kind of clump this together and it really sticks together like play-doh um, on this particular tree I was able to wedge my knife into these cracks here and see big plates of bark that came off and these the bark is totally white underneath from fungus growing under the bark and uh, that should be, if we go up higher on the tree, if we scrape this away, that has a nice rich green color, green and yellow. This section right here is technically alive. That green part is where the uh, tree is moving nutrients and water up and down. However, at the base of the tree, on all three of the dead ones, there's enough of this fungus that it's blocking, it's killed the, the green part. The green is called the cambium, and the fungus has killed or eaten or lived off of all the cambium and now it's severed the highway that's moving all the water and nutrients sugars and starches up and down the tree and you end up with a dead tree so i was able to wedge my knife into this one back here and you can see what the kind of finishing effect of um planting a tree too deep that's root bound and over watering it. Now, uh, oh, another quick test we can do is if we put our hand up this tree and then try to move the tree, I'm leaning my body weight up against it and it it's very stable in the ground. That tells me that these roots have reached out into the surrounding soil and have really um, uh, allowed the tree to, to expand basically. They're supporting the bigger tree overhead here and I'm going to push on it and you can see that soil heaving. I think the shadows might be making it hard to see that. Uh, we'll do it on this tree as well. So, you can, oh, that was a root breaking, that cracking sound that you heard. So our recommendations for this situation is one, remove the dead trees, plant them with new trees that are planted properly Two, expose the root flare at the base of all of the trees, even the healthy ones, uh, to minimize the likelihood of that same fungus setting in on any of these trees. And three, address whatever watering situation is causing uh, uneven watering in certain areas, dry here, very wet over on this side, uh, and then continue to monitor the rest of the trees uh, even the new trees, of course, monitor them to make sure we're not getting continued dieback. Uh, but at this time, there is no way to save the three that appear to be dead.